My name is Niara Williams, and this poem is titled, Three Things I Have Heard at School and Not Yet Formed a Proper Response to. One, gay guys are basically girls. I wish I had a gay friend to go shopping with. I am the nearest queer person, share a look. I think of my best friend, how when she came home from her latest hair appointment, her neighbor said she looked butch. I wish I had leaned into the girl's face, one hand upon her cheek, whispered, you already have a gay friend. <laughs> Two, I think she puts the N-word in the book because she wants us to say it. You are reading a book about black women set in a black town written by Toni Morrison. There are a number of themes and ideas, friendship, sexual liberation of women, financial freedom, racism, racism, racial discrimination, and the importance of identity. If this is the message that you get from Sula, I pray for the future of reading comprehension, <laughs> your score on the AP Lit exam, any children you might have in the future, and may God have mercy on your soul. <laughs> Three, we're holding a clothing drive for teens in North O, so they can have nice clothes for interviews and stuff, so they can get jobs. We just need you guys to bring in slacks, skirts, and nice shoes, like gently used so that we can get them clothes for the, um, for the poor children. You, you five, three, blonde-haired, blue-eyed, you Fairmont plaid wearing, you white polo starching, you uniform sock buying, collar popping, you lily white girl at the tender age of 16. Have the nerve to stand before me in your $40 fairies and say that you are about to do something for the poor children. For the poor children who are your age and older. For the poor children who will be living in North O longer than you demean yourself to grudgingly serve it. For the poor children who have seen more of God's will than any Catholic school in the city. For the poor children who would spit at you if you had the audacity to call them something synonymous with pitiful and helpless to their faces. Stop calling them that. We all know you mean the scary black teens in secondhand clothing. Just say it because Monday morning is not the time to try me. I am poor, I am black, and I am too brown to care that you want to keep American apparel for the Americans. Every day when I walk into my private, all girls predominantly white, good conservative Catholic school, I understand more and more these immortal words from Toni Morrison Sula, the words that I will swear to my grave describe my high school experience. The purpose of evil was to survive it, and they determined, without ever knowing they had made up their minds to do it, to survive floods, white people, tuberculosis, famine, and ignorance. <laughs> 